What's up, everybody? Jay-Z and Rajaspi's CaseBreaks.com. Last break of the night. This is 2019 Panini Contenders Football Six Box Half Case Break Picker Team Number Eight. And here you go. We had a couple team randoms. So if you see a little character sign at the end of your name, it means you got that in a team random. And good luck, everybody. Good, good luck. All right, six boxes. It looks like Joe numbered these ones. This is PYT eight. So here you go, guys. Dude, guys, like you hit a one on one, we, we gotta talk. Really, right? Maybe he'll give you something of one of your favorite teams or something. That's what I would do, honestly. If something like crazy like that happened. Because, you know, I'm sure I would be like Hans, you know, I'm probably not gonna sell something like that, so I'd probably just like give you something. Uh, your favorite team, or buy you a spot in a break or something, you know, which has happened before in the past with customers. But I don't think uh, Titans and Packers weren't wasn't a bad trick. Packers don't really have the biggest rookies in this class compared to like AJ Brown with the Titans, but I guess the chances of hitting like a Aaron Rodgers or Brett Favre in that probably is why they were probably up higher on the list. And I mean, they do have rookies in here though for sure. But that's what was my my thought. Hakeem Butler out of forty nine on card twenty five out of forty nine for the Arizona Cardinals going to Jay. Dalvin Hodges for the Steelers going to Michael Gallucci. Deontay Harris for the Saints. Dom, try to trade. There you go. You got a hit already. Jamal Dean for the Bucks. Cody with that one. You got Trayvon Wesco. For the Jets, 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 going to George. And we got a Christian McCaffrey, numbered to 175. What a playoff ticket. For the Carolina Panthers, going to Steve. Next one. Uh, do you guys remember what was pulled in the first half by any chance? Was there a big rookie auto or like, a big cracked ice per se? Joe must have done this, I assume, on Friday or Saturday, right?
Actually, let's save this side. I think all the autos are going to be on that side. Well, except this one. All right, we got a redemption coming up. We'll leave that there, though. We have something here. Derek Brooks for the Buccaneers. Oh, it's a retro rookie ticket. That's cool. Seven out of 20. And that was, like, I think one of the lower teams, or, in fact, the last team on the last team randomizer for the Raiders. Look at that. Buccaneers going to Cody. 7 out of 20. That's pretty sweet. Eric Dungy for the New York Giants. Zach Allen. Trayvon Wesco. Another one for the Jets. And rookie roundups for the Colts out of 75. Rocky Sin and Ben Bagno. Got rookie ticket RPS car number 123, and of course, David Montgomery, who's always a redemption early on in these products. So, Chicago Bears, that's going to journey. There you go, David Montgomery coming your way. All right. To this box will be halfway through. And again, guys, Joe will be back tomorrow at 2 o'clock Pacific. We stream until 10 o'clock Pacific, so 5 to 1 a.m. Eastern. And remember, you guys can pre order NT football. It is dropping on Friday, and I'll be breaking live early on for NT Day. Probably, if I can come in uh, earlier than 11 and the product is here, then I'll come in and break at 10, if not at 11 for sure. A couple hours before Joe gets here. And then Wednesday will be uh, Gypsy Queen. And we only got a few cases of that, so um, pre order that as well. I think that drops Wednesday. Justice Hill, nice on card, 25 out of 25 championship ticket for the Baltimore Ravens and Kurt. We got that in a team random.
Josh Allen for the Jaguars. Got a mic. Johnson. To Juan Johnson to 99. 70 out of 99 for the Bills. Gunner Bradley. Terry Godwin the second. Panthers going to Steven. And MVP contenders, Matt Ryan is 75. Falcons going to Raj. All right, guys, halfway through. Good luck. And David Blog. Which are Lions. Go to Aaron. And for the Packers, Dexter Williams. 37 out of 99. There you go. Hans with that one. Rodney Anderson for the Bengals. But it's Todd. Todd Reardon with that one. And this is the third Wesco. Man, George is just getting a ton of those Wescos. Out of 49, Miami Dolphins, Rookie of the Year contenders, Preston Williams. Alright, guys, good luck. Rookie of the Year Contenders Autographs, RPS, card number 12. Wow, another David Montgomery. There you go, different version though. Bears going to journey again.
Our next podcast. Miles Boykin, 49 out of 99, rookie of the year contenders, going to the Ravens. Now we've got another redemption. John Ursia, Seattle, going to Denny. What up, AJ? You know, a little late to the party. Colts, rookie tickets. Joe, uh, Yona Williams to 99 for the Bengals going to Todd. Todd Reardon with that one. Melvin Gordon, the third to 175 for the Chargers. Honestly, dude, yeah, really? Yeah, no time for Jaspies. All right, another redemption. Let's see if it's something else other than David Montgomery. Uh, yeah, it's rookie ticket, 238. Devin Bush. There you go. Steelers going to Mike Gucci. All right, guys, we come down to the last box. Good luck. Well, I'm assuming that there must have been a monster pulled in the first half. By looking at these boxes. Maybe the monster's in here, though. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the show, guys. This is our last break of the night. Oh, is that right? You work through the 15th of next month? Well, that's that's good, though. At least you're still getting paid, man. And hopefully, hopefully within the next, you know, week or two, kind of get more of a sense of what's going on. You know? My, my sister's kind of in the same boat, and so is my brother, but my sister is getting paid, so she's a, she's a manager of a gap in a... Promenade in, in Santa Monica, one of the bigger gaps here, three stories. So, yeah, she's, she's not working for the next couple weeks, but she's getting paid. So, but, um, yeah, she's still uncertain too, though. Although, I think she had her first conference call today, and they were saying that they're going to start making daily conference calls just to kind of see what's going on. Yeah, my brother's company that he works for was also forced to kind of shut down for a little bit. They do a lot of trophies and medals and plaques and stuff. And, you know, since obviously there's nothing going on here, really nothing else to do. Well, that's nice though, AJ. Well, yeah, definitely enjoy the time off, but for sure. I know, I know how it feels to be like uncertain what's going to happen. You know, luckily we're still doing well here so far. And we appreciate you guys still shopping with us. I know we're kind of like an outlet in a way. Deontay Johnson. Really good ticket for the Steelers. And a Darrell Henderson. Nice. Little. Wow, look at that. Jersey number 27 out of 27 rookie ticket for the future potential starting running back for the Rams. That's nice. Who has the Rams in this? Ed does. Jersey number. 27 out of 27. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know if that would technically mean we'd have to shut down, but the thing is that how many customers would probably continue to buy knowing that they may not get their shipment is kind of the, kind of the thing. 
Obviously, we can still continue to break, break, break. But the thing is that, you know, would you guys still want to buy in knowing that you're not going to get certain things for the foreseeable future, you know? But I, I think that it'd be really tough for them to shut down USPS. I could see them, like, shutting it down to the point of where only businesses or, or um, you know, something where you have to come pick up instead of them delivering it to you. But I feel like it's still the safest way to kind of still deliver it to us. Just don't make contact, you know, with with the postal service drivers. But I feel like it would it would be crazy if they stopped USPS. That that'd be nuts. I mean not just for us, but just imagine the world, like how many people I mean the United States sorry. How many people rely on shipping out parts and shipping out this, that and you know. But I, I think if they were to shut off USPS, we'd probably find an alternative route. You know, UPS is not you know, by the government. They're kinda of more private with DHL and all these other places like FedEx, so I'm assuming that we would find a different outlet if that if it came to that, but yeah, I don't I don't that'd be pretty drastic if that happened. But I mean, it is a possibility, I guess. All right, there you go, guys. A lot of hits coming out here. Five autos per box. Nothing too crazy, monstrous, unfortunately. Although that Duran Henderson's pretty nice, though. Justice Hill, twenty-five out of twenty-five. Got yeah, that D Brooks to twenty retro. As well as the Hakeem Butler to 49. And then 27 out of 27, Daron Henderson, jersey number. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.